Artists get commissions. Sometimes they can be a little bit weird. Now, our favorite clients here at Inset Art are our Patreon supporters. And our top tier of patrons actually get to commission us to make epic artwork. Today, we are matching up Mario and Pokemon in an epic commission for our patrons. Patrons. So our commission started with a suggestion from our most loyal Patreon, who is Time Blink. They suggested combining Pokemon and Mario. My first task as the artist is to find Pokemon and Mario characters that I could mash up together. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I play Mario Kart, I always play as Bowser. I don't know if he's a turtle or a dragon, but he's got big dragon energy. I was thinking about which Pokemon I could combine with Bowser, and Blastoise seemed like the obvious choice. They've both got super similar designs with pretty much the same silhouette of that large round shell and their stumpy legs. They're both reptilian, so I combined Blastoise and Bowser to make Baustoise, if you will. My second character, I wanted to draw Princess Peach because I thought that her flowy and feminine energy would contrast really well with the bulky masculine energy of Baustoise. And I decided to combine Peach with Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant is a paradox Pokemon, which means that it is pretty much a futuristic relative of Gardevoir. It is also said to be cruel enough to take its brilliantly shining blade and cut down anyone confronting it without hesitation. I picked Iron Valiant to combine with Peach because they both shared the same silhouette. They both have very petite feminine figures with ball gown-esque skirt. Peaches being literally a ball gown and Iron Valiant being these metal panels. So Peach and Iron Valiant didn't make a fantastic name combination, so I decided to name her Peach of War after Peach and Gardevoir. So now that we have established that we're combining Pokemon and Mario, we kind of need a story that threads both of the universes together. Enter the Super Crown. Now Time Blink mentioned that in the Mario universe, there is a Super Crown, which is used to transform Toadette into Peachette. Basically this crown peachifies whoever is wearing it. So to make this commission make sense, our Patreon proposed that what if the Super Crown had somehow entered the Pokemon universe and had started turning Iron Valiant into Peach as well? What if the Crown had turned all of the Pokemon characters into Mario characters? We've coined this as the Super Pokey Crown. This video is brought to you by Jazz's Ultimate Digital Brush Pack. 83 professional digital brushes. And Aero and I use them every day in the studio to create epic works of art. They are fully compatible with Photoshop, Procreate, and Clip Studio Paint. They come with a pro digital painter's guidebook, which is a incredible resource if you're learning to paint digitally, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or professional. So if you're interested in getting the digital brush pack, then check out the link in the description below. I wanted to have them back to back as if they are in an epic action movie. I'm not quite sure if these two characters are friends or enemies, I decided to add this really dramatic Dutch angle, which is where you take the horizon line and you tilt it. So you can see the ground is at this really dramatic angle, almost as if Bowser had stomped on the ground so hard that the camera had toppled over. Now I wanted this commission to take a lot of inspiration from movie posters, kind of like it's advertising the Pokemon Mario mashup movie. It's a really good way to suggest a whole story in a single image. This means that everything you see in this image is not meant to be taken literally, it's more symbolic. So for example, having Bowser and Peach face away from each other, are they allies, are they enemies, who knows? I also kept some super symbolic elements. So the crown that you see floating above Bowser's head doesn't actually look like the power crown. It also isn't directly sat on anyone's head, it's just floating above them, showing that it is important to the story, but it doesn't literally need to be on the character's head in order to work. Now, I've talked a lot about our community supporters today, and that is because they are the most important people in the Inside Art community. We love art, we love making art, we love talking about art, and we wouldn't be able to do it all if it wasn't for you guys. If you love art too, or you want to support the community, then consider joining on Patreon. Every bit of community support helps our channel grow and supports original art content on YouTube. You can get a whole bunch of behind the scenes access and insights, including our tutorials, our masterclasses, we do monthly updates, with the top two tiers, of course, being able to contribute to our community commission. You'll be part of an incredible community of art lovers and artists of all ages and experience levels. So definitely check out the link in the description below. Another one of our super loyal master patrons called Mel suggested that I started adding some other characters to the commission. 
She suggested some Goombas and some bob -ombs, and even floated the idea of combining Bowser's castle with a Pokemon gym in the background. While I didn't want to overcomplicate the piece by adding a background, I did add some rocky texture just to get the feel of a decaying building. I thought adding Goombas and bob -ombs was a great idea to get some more dynamism into the piece, almost as if they are running away from Bowser's enormity. Kind of like when you run through a flock of birds and they all fly away. Now I was having so fun with this commission, but it was intended to be contributed by all of the inset artists. So I decided to handball it off to Ariel to get her opinion. She decided to take my artwork, shrink it down and add some extra panels, giving it this super comic book anime type of feel. And pairing that with the establishing shot that I've already done, it really feels like a sequence of events. She used these really graphic outlines for the panels that almost look hand-drawn as if it's been torn out of a comic book. You'll notice that the lines aren't perfectly straight and that also contributes to this hand-drawn feel. She also added some action lines which are really common to see in anime. Now when Ariel handed the commission back to me, I absolutely loved it but I thought it was missing one thing. The empty border around the main image would accommodate some text perfectly. So I spent way too long coming up with some really terrible puns to include Baustoise and Pichovoa. It was then when our lovely master patron, Fushu, suggested combining our Mario bob with Pokemon's Volt Orbs. And that got me thinking, what if I combined the Goombas with a mushroomy Pokemon? I settled on Fungus because he also had the same kind of color palette as the Volt Orb. And I thought these all worked really well. Mario and Pokemon have got very similar styles. They're both super colorful and childish and happy and joyful. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to grime up the characters and make them look more battle-worn and original. You've seen that I've added heaps of texture to Bowser, including the scales on his skin, his hair, and some smears of dirt on his shell. But I also make some very late changes to Peach of Oil. Originally, the flowing fabric just wasn't cutting it for me. It was looking a little bit too floaty. So I decided to change her silhouette so it better suited both Peach and Iron Valiant's original design. I thought that combining the metal fabrics with some flowy, ruffly fabric would have a lot of visual interest. And having the fabric all torn up and spilling across the floor gives it this really grimy look. I wanted Peach of Wild to look like a battle-hardened warrior rather than a princess, almost as if she had to break out of Bowser's castle herself. say a huge huge thank you to our master patrons especially those who gave us suggestions for this commission. I'll be the floof, Melville, Marzi Malfoy and Slinkhail X. You guys are the most supportive people in our insert art community and we wouldn't be able to keep the channel going without you guys. We hope that we did this commission justice and we can't wait to get started on the next one. Another huge thank you to our diver patrons as well who also get to contribute to the commission. That is Bob at Pickle, Maz, Carrere, and W. Thomas Kia. Our Dabletia gets tutorials and Discord benefits, and our Doodletia gets monthly behind the scenes updates as well. That's all that I've got for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.